It sounds like science fiction, but the fact is biotech companies and the government are pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into research they hope will one day make it possible for us to grow new body parts. It's called regenerative medicine, and the goal is to help the 100,000 people waiting for organ transplants and the thousands of veterans who returned from Iraq and Afghanistan horribly made. So far, researchers have created beating hearts, ears, and bladders by manipulating cells in the human body into regrowing tissue. The hope is to one day profoundly change human lives. Dr. Anthony Atala runs the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine in North Carolina. You name the body part, chances are Dr. Atala is trying to grow. Currently at the Institute, we're working on over 22 different tissues and organs. So, bladder? Yes. Heart? Liver? Yes. Kidneys, lungs. The possibilities really are endless. Are you suggesting a remarkable future of when organs fail, we simply replace them and live to 120, 150? Well, the hope for the future is that if you do have a patient who has organ failure, you don't want that patient to die because you're waiting for an organ. People are dying every day on the transplant wait list. So the hope of the field is that we can provide replacement tissues and organs that can be used to help them survive. Dr. Otala presides over the world's largest lab devoted to bioengineering body parts. He's made everything from components of fingers to kidneys. It's enough to make Dr. Frankenstein jealous. Slightly spooky, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Dr. Atala says every organ in our body contains special stem cells that are unique to each body part. The key to regeneration, he says, is to isolate and then multiply those cells until there are enough to cover a mold of that particular body part. What is growing here? That is actually a bladder. And you can see here that we actually create the three-dimensional mold first. This is actually coated with cells, and it's done one layer at a time. It's very much like baking a layer of cake. It's sort of surgery as pastry making. But how do those cells know? <laughs> it's a really stupid question, I understand, but how do the bladder cells know that they should be functioning as bladder cells? Every single cell in your body has all the genetic information to create a whole new you. So if you place that cell in the right environment, It'll be programmed to do what it's supposed to do. Dr. Atala says some body parts are more simple to make than others. This is actually an ear mold. And you can see here the mold shaped like an ear. And then what we do is we start seeding these with cells. And then this is actually the fully engineered ear. The molds are designed to degrade over time. So as the tissue forms, the mold goes away. And if that was for a child, would that grow with the child? Yes, the body does recognize them as their own, and it does grow with the child. Depending on the body part, Atala says the whole process can take six to eight weeks. This is actually an engineered heart valve. That's beating. This is actually where they get matured, right before they get implanted. He says that human testing of heart valves and blood vessels will begin within five years. He's already grown and transplanted livers in mice and has successfully transplanted human bladders grown outside the body from the patient's own cells. Caitlin McNamara is one of the recipients. I never even knew I could get this far. I'm just living a normal adult life. 